Work on my soul, sisters. Let me hear y'all flow, sister. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your sister, Union in the house today, and I'm so happy to meet every single one of you. And today I'm going to be talking about top five serums that I'm currently obsessed with. And before that, I'm going to mention a little bit what exactly is a serum and if it's really necessary for our skin. And another thing that I wanted to share is if you are a beginner or if you don't know how much of the serum that you're supposed to use, I just wanted to share a very easy tip also. Well, anyways, guys. We have a lot of products to talk about today, so we're gonna get right into it. So first of all, what is a serum and is it really necessary for our skin? A serum is a skincare product where the texture is very between a toner and a lotion. A gel or light lotion consistency that has a high concentration of active ingredients in it. And um, it's an amazing product that you use between your toner and your moisture step. So the OG step that we do stick with is using a good cleanser, good toner, and a moisturizer, and of course a sunscreen, that's all you need. However, adding serums has become many people's already, many beauty gurus out there, they love it, and it has actually become an essential, essential step for us in our skincare routine. I want to highly recommend using a serum if you feel like these days, whatever you're doing, it's just that your skin is in such a rut like it's been dual for such a long time and you know no matter what you do it's just not bringing it up to a good condition then I really want to advise you to add a serum in because adding a serum into your routine will really give you big improvements that you will be able to see so how to use a serum properly so some people say that using large amounts of it is better for your skin however there's so much there's only limited amount that our skin can actually absorb and take in so whatever is left behind is just gonna be left on top of your skin which especially during the summertime can clog your pores it can become like the reason of so many skin concerns that you might have and since serums are already such concentrated products you don't need large amounts of it probably you'll need about one to two pumps I've been using serums so much so I already know how much of it um, that I would need but if you are a beginner a really good tip is get one pump and make sure that you make little dots across the face and if you do this across your whole face you will adjust how much exactly of the serum that you need usually it really depends on the size of your face and the consistency of the serum but one to two pumps is pretty good all right now i'm gonna dive into some of my favorite serums that i've been obsessed with and it's in no particular order but the first one i wanted to introduce you guys to something that i haven't yet so this is the first time that I talk about this product all right so this is the steam base rose herb perfect build-up serum and I absolutely love this serum for the summertime because the texture itself is really light and it absorbs fast to your skin and it doesn't have like a sticky finish afterwards and the scent is amazing it's supposed to smell like flowery kind of rose scent however I don't know why but it reminds me of lechi or lychee or lechi or lychee whatever however you call it okay I don't know if you guys are a big fan of that fruit but I know that if you like that fruit you're basically obsessed with it I love lychee everything you know I love the little jellos I love lychee, the fruit itself, but it's really hard to get in Korea. So every time I go to um, countries that are uh, very hot and humid, they do have lychees. So I would get like 20 of those and eat it just in one spot. I love it with the passion and I love the scent of it. And this kind of smells like lychee, but I know that it's not supposed to. So it does have like a flowery, a hint of flowery scent to it, which is really subtle. But for me, I don't know why it really <laughs> reminds me of lychee. And of course the ingredients. The ingredients are amazing. So it contains onsen water, which also means like thermal water to moisturize your skin from deep gent sleep. And one of the reasons why I really wanted to try it was because maximum amount of peptide ingredients that a skincare formulation can contain is in this 
product. So overall, it's amazing product for improving your skin elasticity, your skin wrinkles, and also your skin texture as well. And before I use a product, I always go to their sites and I just check out everything or I read a lot of the reviews. And I saw the clinical test that they did on this product. The first one was the skin irritation test and irritation level was 4.30 and then it lowered to 2.32 after they used this product. And the second test was skin glow from the moisture improvement and it increased 17.22%. And they said that the elasticity and the lifting effects were proven through these clinical tests. So it kind of drew me to it like I was drawn to it. I had to try this out. After really trying it, it felt amazing. The texture was perfect for the summertime. So I find myself these days just kind of reaching for this one. So I wanted to introduce it to you guys. All right, so moving on to the next product is dun, 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 dun. this is the Crave Great Barrier Relief. And this is supposed to be a serum. I kind of use it in a lotion step, meaning I use another serum before this and then I kind of use it. So, or I I use kind of two serums. The consistency is exactly like a lotion, more of a lotion than a serum. So I think that's why I feel like I want to use both. The greatest results that I've seen with this serum is that it really helps with my sensitive skin. If you have a uh, damaged skin barrier, if you feel some type of sensitivity on your skin, I think this is a great product that you definitely want to check out. The only thing that kind of uh, still I'm not used to is the scent. I really don't know how to describe the scent. It has this kind of almost like woody, like nature type of scent which is really strong. Every time I put it on still, I'm like, whoa, okay. But it goes away. And I know that it's not an artificial scent, but it's just, I'm not really used to it. And I've never really smelled this in um, skincare products, but just the amazing results make it totally worth it. Um, my skin has been feeling so much stronger. And every time I feel like my skin was really, really sensitive, like the number one product I would reach for was the Claire's Blue Cream, the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. But this one too now, I'm like, oh my God, I, wa I wanna use Crave um, Great Barrier um, relief too so i keep on reaching for that and the blue cream now and this you will see great results and i love actually i wanted to read this for you guys i love what it says like on the website okay so it says how to press reset on extremely irritated skin with great barrier relief drop every skincare product you're using and number one use great barrier relief morning and night until your skin has reset and feels relieved and relaxed number two start adding back your core essentials once your skin is healed cleanser moisturizer and spf so it tells you that if your skin is irritated and it's in a really really bad state it tells you to kind of drop everything and just use this only and it will really heal and recover your skin and it also said how the founder leah yu um this helped her tremendously she said that one of the main ingredients the um, tamanu oil really helped leah uh with uh hyperpigmentation acne scars and sunspots even more than like vitamin c and things like that and it does say like in the parentheses is this called a parentheses I don't even remember anymore. This is called a parentheses, right? And the reason why they mentioned that it helped her more than like vitamin C or other ingredients is just that they wanted to emphasize like how the tamanu oil has helped her tremendously. And I, after reading that and after trying this product out, I'm so interested in tamanu oil and of its amazing results. And it does have other really good um, ingredients like um, safflower oil, rosehip oil, which are plant-based oils. And it also has ceramide, niacin, Cinnamide and just amazing ingredients in here but I think overall if you feel like your skin is just irritated and you need something to really make it stronger and make it healed and recovered this is something that you definitely want to reach for and the consistency the texture itself is kind of thick like it's like a lotion more than a serum so I use a serum and then this too so I will use like two serums so I think you guys can totally do that too as long as like the ingredients don't clash
wash. All right, guys, so moving on to the next product is something that I talked about for my monthly favorites. And um, I just wanted to mention, you might get sick of some of the products that I do talk about because I talk about products over and over again, but it's because I use the same products because I do have sensitive acne prone skin. So I don't switch off my products as much as possible. Like I wish I can, but my skin cannot handle it. So that's why. And some of you guys might be like, you already talked about that. But please, babies, it's, it's good. That's why I'm talking about it, you know? So come on. All right, sorry guys, I'm getting really hot. That's what it is. I think the heat is getting to my head. But anyways, this is the Urong. I called it Urong or Urong, but it's Urong. And this is the Urong Pink Everlasting Ample. And I am almost done with it. And I'm really, really sad actually. I really love this. Um, I talked about it in my monthly favorites for last month. I just love how it feels on my skin. I just love how healthy my skin looks after I started using this. And I love the fact that this is like um, 99% uh, natural ingredients. So that is something that I'm very, very interested in using organic, using natural ingredients for my skin. Uh, for it to be healthier and I'm so glad that I got to meet this brand and I heard that the Yurao the blue ample is really good too So I can't wait until I start using that afterwards still to this very day the scent uh, is very very strong if you are ooh, ooh, it, ooh, It's really strong. Uh, it doesn't contain any artificial scents or colorants, but the scent is really really strong now I'm kind of used to it, but it's still like as soon as I open I'm like, whoa, it's pretty strong. It's there, but once it's soaked in, you can't really smell it. It doesn't really bother you anymore. Um, some people may love it, but it's just for me, I'm not really used to products with such a strong scent. So yes, I'm still kind of getting used to it. So it contains 81.7% organic everlasting flower, which is an amazing natural antioxidant. It's great for hydration. It's great for protecting your skin against environmental stimuli. And it's really great for sensitive skin too. This serum is packed with amino acids and antioxidants too. It reminds me a lot of the Claire's one. Then the Claire's one, when I used it, it reminded me a lot of the Yurong, this one. But yes, this one is a little Little bit more watery but your skin just feels really really good afterwards it's watery but it just bam gives you that hydration right afterwards so yeah this is something that I want to highly recommend if you are looking for a serum with um, natural ingredients or organic ingredients you're gonna absolutely love this brand also if you do have dry skin I feel like you're gonna absolutely fall in love with this and the texture itself is not heavy nor rich so you're gonna love this serum and you know how there are serums that you feel like it's not enough to go to the next moisturizing step what i mean by that is like you use toner and serum and then you feel like it's not really hydrated enough yet to move on to the moisturizing step there are certain serums like that i think some of you guys might know what i'm talking about but i feel that sometimes with other serums but this is just perfect you know that your skin is just kind of fully hydrated and you're so ready to move on to your moisturizer okay guys so this is an oldie and i haven't talked about this for a while but i've been really loving it these days because it's just perfect for the summertime and this is the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop and I've actually forgotten about this serum the best part about it and the I guess kind of bad part about it is that it the wateriness is so watery the texture is so watery to a point where you're like oh my gosh like you can't even feel anything so the good thing is if you don't want a heavy nor rich like anti-aging serum then you're gonna fall in love with it because the ingredients in here are amazing it's very powerful for improving your skin wrinkles and the elasticity of your skin but at the same time if you just put this like your toner this and then your moisturizer you're gonna be like my skin kind of feels dry, especially if you do have um, combination skin like myself or dry skin. So like I, what I was talking about, like you are, this, it just feels fully ready for the cream stuff. But this one, after I use, I'm like, is this gonna do anything? Because it's too watery for me. But 
the ingredients, if I talk about the ingredients, y'all are gonna know that this is a powerful little thing. Even though it's all watery and stuff, it's really, really amazing. So the ingredients are EGF and BFGF. And our body naturally produces these substances. You know, starting our mid-20s, which is like 10 years ago for me. <laughs> okay, that's a long time ago. So starting in our mid-20s, like the EGF in our body, it starts decreasing rapidly. And also the amount of collagen produced on our skin just drops about 50%. <sighs> okay, so for me, it's been like that for more than 10 years, okay? And EGF and BFGF, both ingredients are factors that keep the outer and inner parts of our skin firm and smooth. And also it's crucial for our skin's elasticity and the healthy gloss and that healthy skin tone. So yes, EGF is such a crucial, important um, substance that we need and that we need to give back to our skin. And for the blue drop, there's high concentration of EGF and BFGF contained in this tiny little thing. All right guys, so we're moving on to already the last product and this is a serum that I recently started to love. And I haven't used it for a very long time so I will still update you guys but currently I am obsessed with this serum. Ever since I started trying it, I started using it every single day so the other serums have been kind of like But anyway, so this is Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop and like the name itself, it's watery and it's kind of like oil at the same time. It's not like oily nor heavy like the bad characteristics of an oil, but it has all the good characteristics. It's a very moisturizing serum. So yeah, if you're looking for a product to really moisturize your skin, I think this is definitely something that you want to check out. It's um, packed with antioxidants, um, deep hydration, glowy complexion. It's vegan friendly, cruelty free, and it's $31 at wishtrend.com at the moment. And I do believe they're having like a promotion thing with the mist and the ample so you guys can go check that out i'll link everything in the description but anyways i've been using this every morning and every night it works perfectly under makeup it has amazing ingredients um like ferment filtrates and i just want to let everybody know that it's such a great ingredient but some people their skin reacts to it like they don't like it so you do have to do a patch test but if it works really well like myself then i think you're gonna really like it because it really is amazing. I feel like my skin tone is getting better. My skin texture is getting better. And overall, it feels really just moisturizing. It, it also contains Jeju green tea, rice, kelp extract, peptides, and ceramides. So yes, I will continue on using this baby and let you guys know how it's turning out for me. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that you enjoyed top five of the serums that i'm currently obsessed with and um next i wanted to do top five of um sunscreens or top five toners or creams so please leave it in the comments below of what you guys will want to see next guys i hope that you have a beautiful day today don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye unicorns bye Mwah.